Hello everybody, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. Let's just continue our story, shall we? Uh, I think we're about to go and meet Evelyn, if I remember rightly. Yes, yes we are, yes. Alright, let's open that. Let's just descend. Auto save, so we know what that means straight away. We've got a fight going up. Alright, uh have I given him a pet yet? Yes we have. Alright, well, let's see what we can do with this then. I think we'll have to speak to her first. Get up, you sack of rocks! This isn't over! Try it. This isn't the darling source hunter who's enjoying your tour around Sicil, are you? As necromancer capable of grinding your bones into powder, it has been a special indignation standing idly by while you and your partner trundled around this city like a pair of apes. It's not very nice, is it? I wish I were sorry to tell you that that stuff doesn't make sense. I wish I were sorry to tell you that this is the end, not only for you, but for all your kind. Yes, soon enough we will purge the land of each and every enemy of the source. So you're a sorcerer, are you? And you see me tied and hanged for it, how very mindless soldiers to destroy what hardly understand. For the good of the realm, they argue, as though, as though the mantra was some ultimate truth. What is Councillor Jake doing here, and what have you done to him? Master Jake has certainly in, has certain information I needed. Where he'd been killed by the time I reached him. For a brilliant necromancer like myself, resurrecting the counsellor was a minor hurdle to jump. His unwillingness to cooperate has proven something of annoying annoyance. Well, no matter, we're nearly through. Which goddess do you, do you profess to serve through blood magic? The one goddess, Source Hunter. Her ways may seem strange to you. But the believers know she is marching us towards perfection. Hers is not a path for the weak of heart, but hers is the only path. I'll take my leave. Considering the imminent turn of the tide, Source Hunter, you should trust me when I say you're better off dead. Bracchus Rex is rising, and soon Source will live again. Okay. Get, uh, let's get. S mm. Let's get Spidey to work. Get him down there. And now then, what shall we do? Mute. That might be a good thing to do on... Where are we? Can't see it. Target's too far. Try there. Damn it! <laughs> uh, right, okay, we'll leave that off. to there. Let's put any courage on. And 
what can we do here? Um, let's attempt to stun him. Damn it. Bloodwind Demon, it didn't affect him, I think it healed him. Ouch. Ouch. Stop it. Kept a couple off our, uh, off our, high, our, off our bottoms, didn't it? Right. Oh, yes, please. Nice. Mm -mm. Don't like that. Not bad. Right. Come on, Gray. Go on. One more. Ah, damn it. Right, we're going to have to make it rain. Get rid of that burning. of coffee, I think. Right, Spidey. Too bad. Uh, just stick that. Ricochet. Let's try this on these. Ooh, <laughs> yes. Attack him. There it is. Let's get rid of him. Thank you. And him. Yes, nice one over it. Nice one. Uh, let's move out of that minute. Ooh, 
it's not looking good. Thank you very much. Ooh, come on, one more. Yes. Oh, and it's stunned. Great stuff. Um, I try and blind you, Blin. Damn it. Things are improving. <laughs> uh, what can we do here? Put a bit of strength on that tray. Oh yes, cursed worked. Excellent. There. Oh, nice block over it. Ow! Oh, yes. Nice one. Ninety percent, hundred percent. Let's go for the hundred. Go on. We're here on uh, Bardo. 
Come on, Spidey, do your business. Get in there. Oh, I need poison to great stuff. <laughs> Nine damage, that's pathetic. Um, nice one. Come on, Mulgrave, finish her off. Thank you. 85 damage, nice. Should. Yes. Zombie Jake. Oh, bless be the name of the seven. A source hunter, are you not? I am saved. I am released from this hideous house of torment. Please, I can't bear any more of this exp of, the, of their er experimentations. Getting my tongue all uh, twisted there. Are you Councillor Jake? Well, it sounds like it. <laughs> Yes, yes, it is, it is I. Or I was he, at least. I know not what to call this, this living death. Nevertheless, yes, in life I was that Councillor Jake. First abruptly murdered, then cruelly resurrected in a grotesque defiance of all that is natural and good. What can you tell me about the night you were murdered? How could I forget my last days of fully feeling, wholly natural man? Every detail is as fresh as a moment. It was nearly midnight and my heart was heavy with grief and wild with panic. For I had determined to catch my wife Esmeralda during one of her trysts with the Duke of Ferrell. A trusted informant had told me that the pair conducted their affairs in a certain room at the King Crab Inn. So I crept up to its door, heart pounding, and listened. When I heard the sounds of passion from within the room, I was overcome. I threw, the, threw open the door, ready to confront a faithless wife, but what I saw sealed my fate. I found no Esmeralda, no Duke, but the White Witch locked in the embrace of an unknown paramour. Her gaze snapped to mine, and her eyes flashed with rage. In the span of a heartbeat, she had sent a jolt of source magic coursing through my veins. Those eyes, wild eyes, are the last memory I have of that night. Who murdered you? She just, he just told us. <laughs> the white witch, that demon, it took little more than a cavalier flick of her wrist to send my soul flying from my mortal coil. I've never seen such so magic from that night, before that night, but in a flash I felt it through my being entire. Hear you me, Source Hunter. If Sicile and all of Rivalon are ever to be free of the Source Menace, you must stop the witch. Can you tell me more about this witch? She lives to the north within Lucula Forest. Her presence is hardly a secret, but none guessed that the seemingly benign forest witch were, in truth, a powerful sorcerer. Had I not invoked her ire the, the night of my death, I might never have known she were the cause of Sarsiel's gravest ill. She alone could have conjured magic powerful enough to inflict wave after wave of undead upon our borders and she alone can stop those abominations, myself among them now. Fate be damned from over overrunning the city. I'd give my life to the cause, if only my life was still my own to give. What did Evelyn have to do with all this? She stood over me, glowing with triumph, as she wrenched my soul out of the afterlife and shackled it to this rotting corpse. Oh hell, what has she done to me? She seemed to have been the leader of this cult, but I know little more. I have only heard them whisper about, blood, about Bloodstone and Lost Ones, though these terms mean nothing to me. 
Why would Evelyn bother to resurrect you? That I cannot say. I know not what this savage cult intended for me. Luckily she saved me before you saved me before I found out. What can you tell me about the murder? Uh, it would be my honour to disclose anything that might aid you in putting a permanent end to these despicable cultists. What would you like to know? Well, we know who murdered you. We've asked all these questions. Ah, Bracus Rex. That name, I recall it only from the lessons of childhood. King Bracus. Yes, the last Source King. As history remembers him. In the days when source magic held the land beneath its erratic and tyrannical fist, there was one desp despot, despot? <laughs> wielded its power with the intention of complete destruction. Bracus Rex, his followers called him. He nearly ravaged all of Rivalon in his source addled madness. Only narrowly was he defeated, and his terrible power source itself banished from the land. Folk rumours have commonly held that Bracus Rex was buried deep within the ancient temples of Sysil. Perhaps Evelyn was taken in by the tales and sought to pay tribute to that wicked sorcerer. Uh, let's change the subject. Uh, I think that's it. And I, sorcerer, I'll return to my grave in Sysil, where I was meant to rest. Find me there if you wish to speak to me again. I take this amulet. The Evelyn placed it around my neck during this ter her terrible ritual. Perhaps it contains some magical properties that may aid you. So you got anything to sell? Ooh, what's this? A ring. Oh, how much? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, right, okay, we won't be getting that, I don't think. We don't need to sell. I'll put it there and have a look. Here we go. No, no, we're not going to make it. No, we're not. Never mind. We'll try and see him inside, see if we can see if we can get him off from there. Let's end the conversation. There he goes. And the journal says... Evil is not the murderer of Councillor Jake, but he's the dark necromancer who resurrected him. Councillor Jake, now undead, told the seeker the true murder of the White Witch of Lucilla Forest. We discovered that the resurrection of Bracus Rex was Evelyn's principal, principal goal in Sysil. Perhaps maybe we should investigate this first. Right, okay. So we'll find the witch, we know that. On the quest for Bracus Rex. Evelyn mentioned a certain Bracus Rex. Perhaps we can find out more about the mysterious figure. Okay. Quick slurp of coffee. And let's see what the left is. Ooh, plenty of stuff. Is that it? What have we got there? Blasphemy, we've already got that. Jawless skull. Check the dead orc. Check the potion case, just in case. Okay, empty bottle. Empty potion flask, we'll get that. Ink pot and quill, we'll take that. Box. Ooh. Check the bookcases as well. You never know what you might find. And while I think on. Did 
do some healing. <laughs> they certainly need it. Right. Alright, let's quickly check what we've got. Set the heels going again. Right, I've already got that apparently. That needs to go to Jones. Jahan, whoops, Jahan, Jahan, smell his scarf, okay, Jules, that's for the dog to sniff, obviously. Right. Constitution 1 Telekinesis 1, that is for all grey. Is it any different in strength? All grey. <laughs> uh, one. Okay. Send that to Jahan. Strength. Hmm. Have any of them not got a necklace? Nope, they've all got necklaces, so that's going to be sold. It's all grey. That's a two-handed weapon. Send that to all grey as well. Alright, let's check this necklace. Yeah, it's got strength, we need to equip that. Uh, yeah, that's better. Equip. Ah, oh, that's better, much better. We'll equip that. And we'll keep that just in case. Right, nothing else to get here. Let us head back. I think. To Sicil. Oh. Jahan wants a word. May the pain wrought by sword and sauce restore this stiff stirring strumpet beyond the shores of death. Once more we have stumbled upon an amateur, one who disfigures the pallid elegance of necromancy's visage with rank and vulgar imperfections. She dabbled with flesh like a child with his pudding. She was deaf to the screams of her victims as she made the scalpel glide through their exposed limbs with easy grace of birds through air. And for what? For nothing to command death. The true necromancer is his life he wants to command, immortality. Achieve this and the screams of agony will not have thundered forth from tortured throats in vain. They will be forgotten in the maelstrom of time eternal. Ooh, he's a bit off his head, isn't he? Right, uh, I suppose I will go far to attain immortality if it means pain and death for others. The very premise is despicable, nothing warrants the wanton torment of innocence. I'm going to go with that. And Jules will say, nothing condones torture or necromancy is vile, whether it is practiced by amateurs or so-called professionals. And you have, bah! You keep your minds on tight, at least, and a priest with hidden desires. You shy away from the necessity that is torment for most short-sighted reasons. For the meaningless, 
meaninglessness that is morality. What is humanity after all? But a gathering of germs from which an exalted few may pluck the subject their studies require and vivisect them into oblivion while propelling themselves into eternity. Good grief. Glory be to this noble pursuit, tainted as it may be by the blunders of simpletons like Evelyn. Let us eradicate such vermin where we find it. Let us seal up every crevice it crawls from. But let us never lose sight of the higher purpose that the art of necromancy promises yet. Hmm. Not quite sure what I think of Jahan, really. Right, well, I think that's a, a good place to call it, guys and girls. I will heal up off camera and maybe do a little bit of selling and stealing. Let's see if we can get some uh, coinage. So, this is all grey. Signing off, and please leave me a like and subscribe. It will be very helpful. See you later, guys.